Whoa. I don't know if you can see how wonky that post is, but it's Wonk City. We're going to work with it. It's going to work. We've got a little bit of rot here at the bottom, so we're going to cut that off. I think it's 11 foot 3. Wow, is that ever bendy. Let's take a look at this again. Ooh, Banana City. Sorry about that guys, there you go, that's what it looks like right now, I'm going to um, smooth that out. Made a bit of a cut that was too deep there, that's okay, integrity of the post is still functional. And I need to do it on this side as well. Okay, here we go, got this side done. A little bit of cleanup to do. Having some problems with the GoPro, it's actually kind of malfunctioning. The screen on the back is not showing me if it's working or not. Fingers crossed you guys are gonna see this footage, if there is any. All right, guys. I went out and got some store-bought two by eight by 14 feet. I'm gonna have a series of those that make up the deck in here. And then I got myself a two by eight by 10, which I just cut down. That'll make this uh, end piece here. So now let's assemble these pieces. I've got on nails there. I've got a nail in there. So let's see if I can get this assembled. And This post is, well, you know what? I'm gonna sock one in right there. Now, it's not connected to the walls at either corner. So, let's see if I'm satisfied with this here. Oh, I am. And, yeah, that end's gonna go up a tiny bit over there. Yeah, I'll probably have to bring that up just a touch to make that flush. All right, it's all attached. It's flat, it's square to start with, and now I'm gonna to start the to socket together as well as start to put some hanging brackets in. All right, I've got brackets for two by sixes. I'm going to use these, even though these are two by eights, they'll still work for this.
All right, let's go down to the other end here. All right, ouch. Well, not only you guys, but mm, the equipment. I hope it's okay. All right, I'm gonna go cut the wood and be back in a few minutes. Please be the right length. Oh, I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty good on both ends. Okay, so this one's in, as you can see. It's a little bit loose there, but what we can do is from the other side here, we're gonna screw through, suck these together. So I'm gonna go cut the exact same length on that, 164 and a quarter inches, just shy of the 14 feet actually, but that's okay get that second one in here, tack it in, and then start to put some structural screws in place so that I'm more confident that uh, everything's holding together. And I think before I go anywhere, I'm gonna tack a couple nails in the bottom of the post there. Post isn't going anywhere. And I didn't do more joists just because I'm not expecting to overload this little mezzanine with things. All right, two in. So I'm gonna sock them in down at that end and then, like I said, suck them in together down here. Those boards are cut to length. They're just laid in there right now. That gives you an idea what the deck is going to look like. The post that sticks up above the deck is obviously going to be for a rail that comes across here. That's about 36 inches from the deck top. Uh, there will be a supporting post here and another post over here. So a little safety. I'm going to leave the open end uh, open the end open for now, uh, just because that'll be the access area. Need to create a ladder access area, maybe a set of stairs going up that way. Got to get all the drying slabs out of the way eventually. Not sure what I'm going to do with those. I sure have enough of them. I've been working at it this morning, getting some of the pieces in place to finish this up. I've forgotten my cameras or my camera that I do most of my filming with these days. So I'm gonna do this with my phone. Gonna be a little wobbly and shaky, but uh, let me show you what I've done so far. You can see I have a post in the middle there, vertical, same height as the post on the corner there. That's gonna give me the handrail up front here. I'm going to, in a few minutes, head up top and start to sock down these boards. One of the things I did this morning was, this is attached this board right here is attached quite well into the side wall post, no problem. I added some additional strength to this part. I've got a cross, four by four, four by four post, and then down to that split patio stone to, to dissipate or to share the load down onto the concrete floor. Tack this into place with screws. It's also screwed up underneath here into the bottom of the, the deck. Just some added insurance. Finally up on the deck here, I'm gonna to start to sock these boards in place. I'm gonna put about an inch space between each of these boards right now. 
Don't let a little daylight. Slowly starting to come together. Nice deck up here. It's gonna take a lot of material. Toys like the kayaks can come off the floor. You're gonna get a lot of that. Good Lord, I can't even believe it. I've got lawn, lawn furniture in here. So I'm gonna keep on with this. See how much I can get done in the next 30 minutes before I need to move on to get something else ready before I leave today. <clears throat> got a sizable landscaping project I'm gonna undertake at home over the next few days. We've um, got a walkway down the side of the house that has subsided quite a bit. And uh, we got some quotes for some landscapers to come and do it. The first challenge was that the landscapers couldn't come for a year. It's just the way it is post COVID. Human resource issues and all. And then the next issue was the price. We're talking about, I don't know, about 40 feet of paved stove and interlock pave paving stones and uh, to lift that up put in some more crushed stone pack it in and then put all the stones back in place we were getting quotes between seven and nine thousand was it nine thousand seven and nine thousand canadian um that is not cheap or that is not even affordable if i say it in more polite terms so i've done a little you know DIY interlock before so I'll go at it a few hours each day or maybe three to four hours each day over the next four to five days and hopefully I can get that done before the cold weather arrives so um, that's going to be the project but I'll be doing that at home I'll probably do a video on it so you guys will see that in future as well This gives you an idea of the types of things I plan to get up here, up on the mezzanine, off the floor, out of the way, give me a lot more space on the shop floor itself. All right, I've been busy. I've been cutting a few boards. Be around that way. Let's see if this fits. pretty crude up here but it's gonna work let's see if I angle you guys over a little bit more there Okay, over here, provide better support to this two by eight. Put my hammer and nails down. And of course I've got the wrong drill bit. So 
I've got a piece of plastic at the uh, bottom end here. And we're going to put this 2x3 in place. Goes in there nice and snug. The mezzanine is essentially done. I've got all the floorboards in place. It's a motley crew of floorboards up there. In the back left, I've only got one layer of OSB board that's half an inch. I'll, I'll need to double that up because that's a little flimsy back there. Otherwise, the boards are pretty much an inch thick all along there. Double layer of OSB here, that's nice and strong. I've added a couple more joists underneath. I don't know, a, a diagonal support member there. The two by three in the back corner along that post uh, underneath the ledger, uh, creating more strength. I've got this beam here supporting these three joists. Again, it's not meant for living. It's solid, it's gonna work. We're gonna call it done. I wanna add a bit of a safety rail. I wanna get a few things up there first, see how it works. But we're gonna call it a success in terms of getting that done. That's it for the little mezzanine series. Thank you for coming by, watching, enjoying the work. Hope you come by again in future. Please like, subscribe, and share. Everyone have a good week.